Good evening. We are actually on the 8th of May, but I'm going to be reading from the 7th of May, Daily Meditations with St. Augustine. So I will begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Excuse me a moment, like a pickle. I'm going to quickly pray a prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that thy love flow upon your servants. May the blood of Christ cover all wounds and restore all to wholeness of life. May the fire from Our Lady's heart now enter thy servants and anoint all with the Holy Spirit and blind Satan. May Saint Joseph wrap thy servant with blessings and peace in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you all have inner healing this evening. The title that St. Augustine has given for May the 7th is The New Life of Those Who Believe in Jesus. That is what is promised to all of us. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is the new life of those who believe in Jesus. And this is the mysterious meaning of his passion and resurrection, which you certainly ought to know about and live up to. It was not after all, without reason, that life came to death. Not without reason, that the fountain of life from which one drinks to live drank here the cup which was not his due. The prayer, you, O Jesus, are fountain of life. Amen. Yes, if you're a Christian, it isn't... Um, that you won't have issues, problems, but the Lord will help you go through all of it. And sometimes it actually increases, as it has done with me lately. I keep wondering what's going to happen next. <laughs> you know, um, but you don't let it beat you down. Whatever's going wrong, you give it all to the Lord and trust in Him. Yes, it has an effect. It doesn't stop having an effect on you. Of course it does. You're a human being. It's natural. Especially when you get old and older, as I do and am, you don't take it as in your stride as well as when you're 50 or younger or what have you. It has an effect on you because when you're retired, you can be extremely relaxed or you can be extremely busy. I can be both, but when I'm busy, it's usually on this computer, typing away prayers and things and putting them in folders and stuff like that and praying and doing all manner of things. And then you've still got your housework, you've got your shopping, you've got all sorts. And today I mix with neighbors, which is very rare <laughs> because I was so tired that I thought, I'll get the washing done earlier than rather later because I usually go about five or six to do my washing I don't hardly see anybody but today I went earlier and I sat in the lounge because I was just too lazy to walk back <laughs> and people joined me and we all had a natter and a chatter and various you know it was it was very pleasant it made a change for me to do that 
that you see people are coming out of their flats now and they're looking forward to being able to not wear their masks. They wear masks in the building and uh, they follow the rules and regulations and do everything that uh, Boris Johnson and his henchmen have told everybody to do. So when you're a Christian, you still have issues, you still have problems. But when you pray, the Lord just, it sort of, it, he just makes you still feel nice and comfortable and okay. And yes, you have to deal with these things, but do not get depressed when things happen to you. Don't let them get you down. That's not how God wants you to feel or be. That's the devil's work. So I'll continue to pray and rejoice in the Lord and do what I do. It, it, whatever they throw at me, whatever they do, I will not stop praising God. I will not stop worshipping God. I'll not stop sharing and doing. They can do whatever they like, but, you know, that's their choice. Don't affect me. My choice goes on for eternity. I know where I want to be in eternity. I'd like you all to be with me and come up and say, Hello, Janet. <laughs> yes, so we have to, no matter what the terrible things that are happening to you, just ask the Lord to help you go through it and help you keep smiling and keep going. He will. I ask my favourite saints to pray for me when I'm feeling that tired. I ask them and the, the Holy Spirit revives me and I carry on. You have to carry on. That's very British, isn't it? Carry on. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to church tomorrow. Marcel will give me a lift, which is wonderful. I don't have to walk up that big hill. So, thank you for listening. I'm sending you prayers of healing and God's peace in abundance, and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. Thank you for listening. God bless. See you soon. I've got one more to do of St. Augustine.